What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest and Trade with Jax. We're gonna go over our friend Ethereum. Uh, currently sitting at thirteen forty three. We're down 0.66 on the day. You know what's weird? For the last few weeks, I've been seeing six 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 all over the place. <laughs> the sign of the beast. <laughs> Not the crypto beast. So uh, we're seeing a market cap of one sixty three billion. Twenty four hour volume twenty point four one billion. Let's hop into the charts. We're gonna start here on the one hour time frame. So we got rejected by our wave four rejection zone. And uh, now in my opinion, it looks like we're gonna come down for a lower low in a wave five. As I mentioned, this strong impulsive move just didn't look like a wave five to me. And uh, this looks more like a wave structure to put in a wave five. So what I'm looking at is we've come down in a wave one. We're seeing a wave two pullback, your rejection zone. We're currently getting rejected by the golden ratio. But your rejection zone is in between 13.23 and 13.62 for a wave two pullback. You'd see a wave three that could take you down here to about 1.100 to about 1.135. See a wave four pullback, find a wave five to complete the wave five to the downside. However, on the macro scale, it's only a wave three, guys. This is what I'm looking at. This is all a part of the wave three. So what you're doing is you're looking to complete a wave one of the wave three, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five. Just to complete that wave three in red, put in a wave four pullback and put in a final wave five to bring you down in between 550 and about 650, give or take. That's what I'm looking at. I do not think, I keep saying this in all my videos. I do not think that this is a one and this is a two and boom, you're gonna shoot up in a three to 3K. Sorry guys, but looking at the macro events and looking at the world events, looking at inflation, um, I shouldn't say this, but Sleepy Joe has another two more years in office. And I really don't see the market turning around on the macro scale until next year. Anything can happen. But uh, I would be absolutely flabbergasted to see it happen anytime this year. Um, that's just my opinion. All right, guys. So what I'm looking for is a rejection in this zone. It's come down in a three to about 1100 to about 1135. If we do come up and break this high at 1402 and validates that as a wave two pullback, it can retrace up to 99% of wave one, but ideally a rejection in between 1323 and 1362 before seeing continuation to the downside. If we do come up and break that level, we'd have to look at the five wave move being complete and a wave two pullback. I don't think it's likely, but anything is possible. I just try to tell you what's more probable in my opinion. This is what the bulls are looking at. Some sort of irregular ABC correction, or this is a completion of a wave one. And now we're coming back in down into our corrective wave two zone, which we have met the target. Cause what you would do is take your fib, uh, retracement from the bottom of your first wave to the top and you target in between the 0.5 to 0.618 even if you pull it all the way up to the very top you're in that target zone for a wave two pullback and then you shoot up in a wave three all the way up to 3k this is what the bulls are looking at don't think it's probable but i will show it to you guys nonetheless because anything is possible in the crypto space and we base and we base our trades off probabilities. Uh, we have our head and shoulders, as you can see, with our target at 1054. I don't want to get too redundant with um, these patterns here, but we are uh, starting to see a little bit of consolidation here as we do have a, a strong demand zone in this area if we pull out the volume you can see there's quite a bit of volume uh, where we're currently holding support but if we do come down and lose that low then uh, and uh, we lose that wick low we don't really have any support till about six to about 700 if i scroll back here you can see it a bit better and we open it up you can see your next major level of volume is down here in between 500 and 600. If I scroll out even more, uh, this chart doesn't show the previous uh, bull bear. This chart doesn't show the previous bear market, unfortunately. Let's use a different one. Uh, let's use Kraken and we'll see where our next major level of volume so you can see your next major level of volume if we scroll out is right here guys in between about 400 to about 600 which is your volume range indicator that shows you where a lot of trading volume took place. All right, so that's basically it for this little Ethereum update. 
Um, we are looking for a rejection here and seeing continuation down in your next target to the downside, 1100-1135. And your rejection zone is here, 1323 to 1362. Any break above about 1403 invalidates that, but I don't think it's likely. All right, guys, big shout out to the Discord where you can gain free access if you sign up to Bybit, my favorite exchange for trading. Email me your sign up email. Also can receive up to $4,100 in bonuses and you will receive free access to over 2,000 members posting chart patterns talking all things crypto. At the $10 membership, you can get my exact entries, exits, and take profits. Recently locked in gains on Ethereum, small loss on Sandbox, and are currently in profits on our Bitcoin short position. All right, and I've also post my analysis in here quite regularly. That's it for this one. Check out my full length tutorial for Bybit, and I will see you in the next video. Smash that like button. I never asked for that, but that's okay. Peace out. Much love. Mm -hmm.